Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how we can turn off Windows Defender in Windows 10. Now a few of you have asked me, is it possible to disable or turn off Windows Defender in Windows 10? They've heard that it's not possible. Uh, it is possible whatever version of Windows you're using in 10, i.e. if you're using Windows 10 Home or Professional or any of these you can turn off Windows Defender and I'll show you how you can do it. Now Windows 10 home you will need to use a registry uh, tweak and professional and above you can use the group policy editor and I'll show you both ways. So first off let's have a look at the Windows Defender inside update and security here in settings you can see Windows Defender he's here and it's got cloud-based protection real-time protection you can turn all these off and on uh, but some people are saying that it doesn't uh, disable it properly and they want to be able to do that and I'll show you how you can do it uh, with a registry uh, tweak. So let's have a look at the first method. Now this is a Windows uh, professional um, version of Windows 10 so reg edit inside the search bar there and open this. So if you're using Windows 10 home this is what you're going to need to do you need to go to H key local machine then you want to go to software and then come down to where it says policies and then Microsoft and in inside here let me just pull this open you can see Windows Defender now inside Windows Defender inside here you need to add in a policy and what we're going to do is add in there a new D word 32 bit value and we're going to call this one disable anti spyware just like so and then we're going to double click on this and we're going to change this set into 1. 1 equals off, 0 equals on. Click OK and now once we have a look at this inside here Windows Defender you should see that's now all been disabled as you can see here. It's all been greyed out and that's been disabled and if you look at use Windows Defender this application has been turned off by Group Policy Editor it's not actually a Group Policy Editor with a registry tweak for Windows 10 Home now if you wanted to, uh, to turn this on you can either delete it or you can put it back and put this back to zero or you can just delete this key so let me delete the key and uh, once we've deleted the key we should now have this back on and I'll show you how to disable this in group policy editor if you're using uh, Windows 10 professional and above okay so let's start off by doing the group policy editor so we're going to go into search the web and Windows and type in here gpedit.msc like so this will open up the group policy editor and we'll just expand that a little bit. Now where you want to go here is the computer configuration administrative templates pull this little bar down go to Windows components let me just expand this a bit inside Windows components you want to look for Windows Defender just here let me just expand this on this side so you can see now on the right hand pane you can see when uh, turn off Windows Defender and it's not been configured. Now if we double click on this we can open this box up and enable this feature and this will then uh, to disable this. Okay so we can OK that and that's as simple as that. So if we go back into update and security you should now see that Windows Defender is also now been disabled. So whatever version of Windows 10 you've got you can uh, disable Windows Defender and the reason why you want to disable it is if you want to use a third party antivirus program i.e. ESET, Avast, uh, Kaspersky, any of those types of uh, anti-malware antivirus software. Okay.
So I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Now, if you've got any other problems with computers, you can always head over to our forums or post a video request over there, and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. Have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.